Hello there. Hi, it's me. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. This is this new model. <laughs> I am not going to use the ink voice one. Hi. It's me, ink voice. I'm a bit too far. Nice to see you. So, I was going to react to my Tom Mike for uh, re review uh, the Minish Edition by Just a Snatch. Thin, this is Touch. Ah, I, re I, I say the name wrong always. <laughs> you know, things like that happen. So, First of all, thank you so much for watching my videos. And uh, second of all, remember to subscribe or I'm going to cause a massacre, okay? And because there's too many people who are watching my videos but not subscribing. And I would like to, to see how many people actually are watching my videos frequently because I want to I want to I want to see how my how, how big I am actually. <laughs> uh, also you have a Discord channel, like you have the QR there. So the QR is over there. So in any case you need something, like for example, uh, you know. Uh, setting things up for you know well, knowing when it's going to be a new video getting informed and chatting with me giving me recommendations things like that you can use that channel okay okay so ready let's get to it let's see let's see it's, it's going on it's going on this, this is the video okay don't don't be angry <laughs> This is a different one, as it should be. Isn't hey, 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 people. Oh. Ah, oh, okay. Said here, shout out to my man, Paul Anthony Romero, the actual composer for the entire Might and Magic series. He made oh, the, the composer of Might and Magic. Bless your autism today. <laughs> yeah, bless you. For the first time, one, I'm re-reviewing Might and Magic 6, The Man oh. of Heaven. Why? Oh, because 6. I was not born. Very good. So I <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> but it also featured hardcore pornography. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I don't know numbers. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Siri, like really, really sorry, okay? Really, really sorry. Milliseconds two. I'm not actually reviewing Might and Magic Six. I'm reviewing oh. Might and Magic Six inside Might and Magic Eight. Listen, it's complicated. What? Some time ago, I'm mad. D wait, it's not Might and Magic Four, not Might and Magic Six. It's Might and Magic Eight. Man decided to merge Might and Magic Six, Seven, and Eight inside the what? Might and Magic Eight engine and uh, mod the shit out of it. How does it work? No what the idea. fuck? My coding experience is limited. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> But it's oh. all you need is a copy of Might and Magic 8, Day of a Destroyer from oh. GOG, and to follow the instructions linked below. Right, let's oh. get to the meat of it. Seth, why what the are you fuck? playing a bunch of first-person RPGs more than two decades old? I don't know. <laughs> because I don't know. Because <laughs> and my yeah, it is. It is holding me hostage, falsely associating the first time I ever played these <laughs> games with the positive connotations of a oh. child. That's why I'm here right now, walking through a gray-brown corridor, searching for a tiny button on the wall, the color of... Oh, tiny button. Hey, there you go. Oh. This endless, featureless abyss. I That's mean... Also why there's grown-ass men out there wearing Zelda oh. t-shirts in public. Because they <laughs> played before life got complicated and <laughs> related to a simpler time before yes it does got divorced before dad caught yellow fever and came oh. with a new mommy from the philippines the mod what? world of enroth lets you start in any one of the free games allows you to travel across worlds and complete all the storylines oh i see don't mind the rats <laughs> the lore explanation don't mind the rats the mind rats <laughs> Uh, the other two groups of humans accidentally written out of time. This might sound ridiculous. On the other hand, I'm in a universe where I'm spending all my time getting the approval of the medieval United oh. Nations so I can visit their oracle downstairs, which is actually an ancient computer you have to restore by finding all four of its RAM sticks. What so the fuck? You the prophecy that you will visit the oracle and return upstairs with an ancient weapon that will help expel the devils from Enroth. A fucking gun, which comes in two flavors. Wait, so it was a supercomputer, and now um, the, and the, all the quest is just to get a fucking gun, like a gun, like like this thing, like the gun. The, the, when I was, I was okay. What the fuck? Gun. 
and gun with gun and gun. Now, before I go on to explain that what? angels and heroes of might and magic free are actually synthetic androids, oh. or that devils are actually a race of aggressively expansionist aliens, and that what the fuck inside a medieval fantasy setting is because we nuked ourselves and took out the entire interplanetary Stargate network to slow their advance. I'll make oh. the point that the actual lore of this game is insane enough already. Let's talk about gameplay. So this is sci-fi inside a fantasy. Foremost, check this out. We got mouse look. I don't have to press page up, page down each time I want to rotate my neck. Because we're in the latest engine, oh. five party members, which can be swapped out and replaced at any time. For my car Ooh. party, we started in Might and Magic 6. Why? Because they got the best portraits, and one of them looks oh. like Depp. Just <laughs> Johnny Depp. Smile as he hey. an entire crowd of women. You can complete <laughs> the game with any combination of party members. But really? Two, no. No, you can't. There's shit out there that turns you to stone, gives you autism, oh. causes schizophrenia, induces narcolepsy, goblin oh. eyes, smallpox, death, and eradication. The eradication between death and eradication. With death, what? you still got a body to revive. With eradication, there is not a single atom left of your body. Good luck uh. indicating a lack of existence. Thus, so this is like disintegrate in the ND5 edition. There's this spell called Disintegrate that actually it makes sure that you cannot be revived even while through resurrection because there's no single atom of your body. So I think that's the actually same thing that is like, oh yeah, no, with this you can die and revive. With this you can die and you are dead forever. That's a good way to, to tell you. I strongly recommend you get a cleric and a sorcerer. Others mm -hmm. claim you can survive with just a druid. But here's a hypothetical. Somebody dies, the druid can oh. revive them. The druid dies, the druid can't revive them because oh. he is dead. Immediately upon starting the game, you're going to click the left wall of the bank, take a oh. scroll of fly, pop it, and fly to the top of a smuggler's guild. Do try to click or you're going to find out what that little tower up there does. Click the wall and teleport yourself to oh. a fucking endgame area where you're going to quickly evade all the dragons. Dragons, get inside the shrine and get a permanent what? 20 to all of your attributes. Then what the fuck? The and keep smashing left click until you teleport again. Imagine being so based that you program in a one to one oh. replica of your development office. Include all the stuff. What the and fuck? Your boss as a fucking goblin you killed <laughs> inside his office. Because that's exactly what the staff of New World Computing did. Walk inside the office, oh. go to the payroll desk, pay yourself a salary. You deserve it. Go to the canteen, load up on food, eat some curry, oh. get food poisoning don't worry we'll get revenge on the ones responsible what the fuck soon. walk inside john van canigan's office become afraid but you can't be fired you quit smack him dead walk to the promotion oh. desk and give your entire party a mega buff which will last for as long as you're able to stay awake that's fine what you don't need sleep teleport out of the office run hug the outer left wall of a shrine and keep smashing left click teleport back to the starting oh. Oh. rampage and kill everything on the map don't stop Stop until you're done. If sleep deprivation what the fuck? Is, rub caffeine powder directly into your eyes. Once it's all over, congratulations. I mean... You've essentially skipped the entire start of Might and Magic 6. <laughs> is your oyster. Rotten hell, you penny pinching miser. As you can tell, I play this shit way too much. However, <laughs> the mod can still surprise me. You might get a side quest in the beginning to return a certain candelabra to a certain Oh. Place. Don't do it. My reputation tumbled to the negative hundreds. Oh, if you do that, is that it's like a mission that is like, yeah, it's a good idea. It's a worst idea ever. All because I returned a single menorah to the cult of Ba. It does make sense since the cult ba. is trying to directly usurp the king. How do they plan to do that? By offering cheap and affordable health care. I know it. I mean, me sick to my stomach. They even laugh maniacally. What? I mean, it's it's cheap health care. Each time I walk. I mean, they got into it. The, the kingdom got into it because if you didn't get with healthcare, of course people are going to pay the cheapest one, even if there are evil people. We are going to go for that. It's, 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 I mean, it's capitalism, bitch.
count, knowing full well I won't have to sell my house or my children to pay yeah. for treatment. As a result, every guard in every city tries to reduce the number of limbs I possess. This might not sound too bad, except what? reputation directly controls the price of everything. <gasps> lets you buy and sell at oh. 100% of the real value. Negative rep reduces the sell price of anything to a single gold coin. However, the what? cost of buying anything will keep increasing forever because negative reputation is an infinite spiral. So you can't, <gasps> it, but you can't buy anything either. The only way out of it is to bribe the church. Unfortunately, donations are now a lot more charitable. I'm not talking a loose what? kind of charity. I'm talking Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation kind of charity. What the, the fuck? Donation is 150 G's for a single point of reputation. A single and point. 200. I don't have that kind of cash, so I reload my game and pretend yeah. it never happened. Except it did, and I saved over it, so I can't go back. Later in the game, I went to the Superior Temple of Ba and oh. accidentally did a mini quest for them. Do not talk. To that fucking head. Listen, what? I had something like uh, 400 positive reputation. <laughs> Let me show you how much I have now. Yeah, it's at a healthy negative 14. What the fuck? I did some quick math, and uh, I'm here to tell you, I can't afford shit. Luckily, <laughs> of, of course you cannot. Of course. Follow. There's many locations where you can dimension door across worlds, but I found out I can just drink all the water in this fountain and take the secret express route. So I went what? to Magic Eight, got myself a member of the <laughs> chosen people, and came right back. Now nobody questions me. War crimes don't know any no i don't know them arts my hustle is supreme and you will pay me a fair price for these shoes besides these two what hiccups, everything else in the mod works perfectly graphics have been upscaled to oh. modern resolutions which is great since you'll be spending yeah, no, the time there was there was a disclaimer like i don't know if this is true i mean what the fuck pixels, the only stuff which isn't baked in textures is the pre-rendered scenes in the shops oh and taverns across the game these still look really good for something new mm -hmm. A century ago. Personally, yeah, I like <laughs> the Shadow Spire. They know how to treat their elvish compatriots. Fetish the inkeep. What? In the fucking chandelier. There's oh. extra options to increase render distance and to turn on the weather. Which, oh. In every circumstance I've ever pressed it makes it impossible to see shit. The music yeah. Is <laughs> as always, I never talk seriously about this, but Might and Magic has an insane soundtrack. Oh, yeah, of course. I know this. Oh. This shit is designed to unsettle you, and I love it. Also, oh. the sound is crisp, and it's really crispy each time <laughs> you take a boat. What? Might and Magic is a game with a simple thesis. Violence solves everything. Oh. We shoot first and justify it later. For example, <laughs> Misty Islands. I need you to investigate an organization for evidence of corruption. Okay. We, do that, we break in. We murder everyone. We find oh. a single scroll that says we're corrupt. And we get justification for our preemptive massacre. That doesn't mean that the <laughs> system is the of the average <laughs> six dungeon to the average cave in Skyrim oh. in comparison. Many quests and dungeons in this game will drive you insane. What's that? Oh. You didn't realize that scroll of telekinesis on the floor wasn't random loot and actually was meant to activate an unreachable button you accidentally oh. hit, and now you sold the scroll? Sounds like a personal problem. Did you just oh. dwarven tombs without recording the steps you took, which may be necessary in case you ever want to leave and my oh. Would you like to promote your monk into a ninja? Then I what? hope you like cryptography because, oh boy, I got a cipher puzzle for you. Luckily, people have suffered what? this shit two decades before you, so the suffering is optional. This game has something yeah. for everyone. For 12-year-old me, this game was all about going to the wine cellar in <laughs> Italia, killing the necromancers there, and reanimating them so I could look at their ass. Please understand, this was I mean... before we had internet. I didn't know any better, so I had to make do. It's like Plato's allegory of a cave, except <laughs> that cave, everyone's a degenerate. If necromancers weren't available, my next best option was genies, medusas, and if I'm very what? desperate, water elementals. Listen, what? You don't what? Know how tough you got it until you're looking at a fish and you're thinking to yourself, <laughs> damn. 
That's a pretty good looking fish. Like I said, <laughs> this game has something for everyone. So here's a list of features. Yeah, for guys, this come other right public, what? explore, immersive, magical hmm? landscapes, which are composed of about 10 polygons. What did you expect? <laughs> it runs in a 300 megahertz processor. Your refrigerator could probably run this game. This is like through the doom. <laughs> <laughs> corridors where the best way to navigate is by muscle memory which you don't have Acquire oh objectively better gear throw it away because a real man dresses for fashion over function oh against everyone equally without discrimination Originally, yeah a lot of controversy after a might and magic player smacked dead a hindu believing he was a follower of ba hard to believe but true and if you let me edit what? this article i can prove it too <laughs> actually quite endearing the developers pretty much went around and asked people yo you want to be in a video game sweet I'll make you a gypsy. That's why most what? portraits are actually real people. Dig through piles of trash. Catch STIs in the process. Drink oh. strange water sources. Get mutilated by a fucking minotaur. Go through the whole game in real time because you're not an arthritic old man. And oh. whenever it's more convenient, abuse turn-based mode to fly up and down between animations and dodge every attack. Why touch the ground when you what can the just fuck? fly above the world and cast meteor shower all day? Honestly, why would you even go into a dungeon when you can just buy all the items in town and enchant them for 10 what? times the original price? Learn the value of different skills, such as... Oops. Disarm Oops. trap. Assert your dominance by yelling at the peasantry and forcing them to run through your magical minefield. What? Any death or injury is purely accidental. Besides, even if they do die, we can just reanimate them. No harm, no foul. Run around town and recruit the only two oh. PCs. An accountant and a banker, which take 5 and 10% of your earnings, but increase them by 10 and 20. Oh, and that's actually nice. Tax, but there is tax on inheritance, and you pay that what? each time you die. How much exactly? 100%. Avoid that by storing your capital inside the dark elvish central Oh! Bank. Gold is safe with us. Visit the arena. Participate in the arena, especially at low levels where you'll be spending your time killing cats and strangling chickens. Visit the what? We're always on tour in one of the three most popular holiday destinations of the world. <laughs> Werewolf Town, Undead Town, Werewolf Town, Tropical Islands filled with cannibals. Disclaimer. What? That's racist. Door of cannibalized women. Don't go to Bootleg Bay. Conversely, if you're into that stuff, Go to Bootleg Bay, cast, <laughs> nuke the entire map, and kill everyone in town. Lose. Damn. Sell yeah. Sell human bone to a private collector. Lose five. Actually, enjoy the world and get immersed in. Oh. None of this shit makes sense. In conclusion, I give this mod and all the games merged inside it a childhood out of ten. I'm oh, and I know that's a good one. You only need Might and Magic Eight. For the mod to work, but if you're interested, it's actually really nice. My man at GOG to put all the Might Magic games. Oh, on my everything! List, discounts on all of them. As always, more content to come. So stay tuned. A warm thanks to the many Ooh, the merchants guild. That's so nice. And bankrolling these videos. Except no, for this, it's uh, also a freebie. You're all truly wonderful. Have a good one. Yay! So thank you, thank you very much, thank you very much for watching the video. Okay. Take care. Bye. Subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Remember, I have the Discord. Join the Discord if you want to, to, to tell me more videos to watch or you want to give me more help or whatever you want or you want to chat or you want to play League of with me or whatever you want. Okay? Bye. Adiosito. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.